Hey guys, welcome back to Tomb Raider with Dude Long Couch. Okay, we're here in the mountain base, and we need to soldier on, get to the top of this radio tower, and send out a signal so that we can just keep doing our thing and eventually become the Tomb Raider. Now, I feel like it relocated me from my last save. I guess that's not an issue, but I honestly don't remember where I am, so... Am I supposed to be going out this way? No, this is where I came from. I went up into that little area up there and hit a campfire save, and now I'm back down here. No matter, though. No matter whatsoever. Let's hit this thing right here. I am alone now. The rest of them are dead. This is for the best. I watched from the cliffs as their makeshift boat was tossed and turned by the storms. The clouds look like a hand upon the water, desperately clawing at their doomed boat. None survived the wrath of the storm. I observed it carefully. The storm was localized and sudden. And just as suddenly, it was gone. And this is the most interesting detail. It didn't seem random. I sensed emotion, something deliberate. I don't know what's happening on this island, not yet. But if I ever hope to escape, I must understand this phenomenon. Now my real work begins. What does that even mean? You sensed emotion in the storm. You gotta like qualify that somehow, bro. Cause I don't think that makes a lot of sense. I think you're just talking out your ass. I think you wanted an excuse to go crazy and join up with a cult. So you're just saying that. <laughs> Okay, can I burn this thing here? Yeah. And also, I remember that I noticed something back this way when I was editing that last video. I think it was right back here. There was like a uh, collectible that I missed. Or was it over on this side? Now I don't know where it was. Here it is, here it is. GPS cache, okay. Just wanted to grab that because I knew where it was, more or less. <laughs> Alright, let's get a move on, guys. I believe we're heading this way now. If I remember, I think this part we're coming up on is really cool. Oh, shit. Okay. This seems safe. Ah! Burns. I'm pretty sure these pipes would be hot as all hell. This is steam. I'd be like boiling alive right now. Whatever, I'm outside. Ace exterior, guys. Snow isn't normal. I guess not for the spot that we are in. Hey, look, another campfire. Okay, well, I've already spent all my stuff. And she has nothing to say, so... We don't really have much to do there. Careful now. Ah, oh, shit! See ya, punk. And they all know I'm here. Damn, how many are there? So many. Okay, let's see how bad I can suck this up. Good shot. Thanks. <laughs> I love that the enemy just told me good shot. Oh. Come on now. Wow, this dude's a trooper. Okay, now he's dead. He trooped as long as he could. But now he's all trooped out. Oh, I thought these were salvage boxes. <laughs> 
shit. Ow. I should really be in cover right now. <laughs> but there isn't none. At least not back here. I'm gonna retreat for a second. <laughs> you just set your own dude on fire, dumbass. Oh! Okay. How'd you like that rock to the face? Felt good, didn't it? I got plenty more rocks where that came from, sir. What? I just shot him in the face! That was 100% a headshot. Some of these dudes are like wearing Kevlar. <laughs> just soaking up the bullets, man. Huh? Oh! Oh! Ooh. Yeah, that's right, baby. That's what you get for hanging out near explosive barrels. You think you guys would learn after a while, but you never do. I don't suppose I can get back into this thing at all. Oh. identity tags. I don't recognize the kanji. Were these used during World War II? Pretty sure that's pronounced kanji, Lara. But nice try. You were close. Alright, I guess that's all we had back here was that collectible. No getting in the door either. Alright. Come on. That only took eight shots. No big deal. Got another mod available. Can't worry about that right now, though. Why are they giving me fire everywhere? There's probably more banners around here I should be burning. But frankly, if I don't immediately notice them, I'm not going to worry about it. I've been over that before with you guys. Holy shit. That was a really terrible idea, bro. <laughs> wow, I sure did miss that guy. Caught me on a reload. Alright, I think it's time for a little extra firepower, guys. <laughs> There's some really good contextual dialogue in this game, too. She get that fucking machine gun. Who threw that? Oh, I see you. Nice. I'm kind of expecting another wave. Yep, here we go. <laughs> That is a large, angry fellow. Oh, Jesus. Gotta dodge him. Gotta dodge him, guys. Got him. Oh, yeah. Faux part. Alive and kicking, and I've already killed about, mm, I don't know, probably 50 of you guys. 
You guys are gonna have to up your stakes. Up your tactics. Up, up your stakes? That doesn't make any sense. You're gonna have to up your tactics. Up your game, I think is what I was... What my brain was trying to say. Okay. Yeah, I didn't remember that we get certain parts from, like, defeating certain enemies. I thought they all came out of boxes. But I guess they'll just come, like, with the gameplay as long as we just keep soldiering on. I want that other bow part. I want all the bow parts. Not that they've given me occasion to try to be stealthy so far in this level. But eventually, we have to have that opportunity, right? Oh, hello there. Can I find some fire anywhere? I think eventually I'll get the ability to just start a fire on my own, but right now I gotta rely on this shit. Go away, rat. I'm not trying to get the plague. Alright, so where are we at so far in this level? Oh, we're coming out right where we killed all these dudes, which means there should be lots of loot. Well, not as much as I was expecting. I guess most of them fell. Campfire! Look at all the salvage I'm picking up, guys. Tons of it. Okay, we got all the bow upgrades. Let's look at machine gun. Steady the weapon for 300. Or increase the reload speed. I'm gonna go for a steady. Padded stock will definitely help out big time with that weapon. I surmise. A plan is taking shape in my mind. In order to unlock the power of this island, I first need to understand what has happened here. I need time and room to study this place. There are many mysteries here. Foremost of which, the ruins of an ancient Japanese empire and a mysterious queen. It all started with her. These Madman Diaries are actually kind of interesting. Like the story they're telling over time. I do hope I will find them all. Alright, where am I going from here? Not up there, because that's pointing up. Should I just drop down here? Oh, because that's where I came from. I could slide over here. This looks good. Doing good on supplies. Okay, this just brought me all the way back to where I was coming from. That is not helpful. <laughs> I don't know why they wanted to give you such a obvious and easy shortcut back there. But I need to keep going the way I was going. Laura's running kind of funny right now. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. It won't let me go up this rope, right? Oh, really? I didn't think that'd be possible. Okay. Works for me, though. Okay, here goes. This is a ladder. Come on, this is like the safest thing I've done all game. Might be a little old and rusty, but you know, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. My faith in the ladder is reduced. But it's still okay. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Holy! Stupid birds. Leave me alone. I'm not here for you. We're good. We're good. 
Don't look down, Laura. They do a really good job of actually making you feel the tension of this. Like, in a video game, it's like whatever, but in real life, this would be fucking horrifying. Oh. Still good. Still good. Don't drop it, Lara. <laughs> Imagine if she dropped it right now. I'm at the panel. Okay. The tower should boost the signal from the transmitter. Okay. All right, find the emergency channel and get a clear signal on your radio before you broadcast the SOS. Hey, we got everything crossed for you down here, LC. Thank you. Fingers, toes, and dicks. Oh, we're gonna tune this ourselves. Okay. I would say that's a job well done there, Lara. All right. We are good to get out of here, guys. But first, I'm just going to take a second and just admire the view. You guys know how I like to do this. Look at that freaking storm out there. Holy Jesus, that is massive. It's an emotional storm, guys. I can sense it. Mm -hmm. Freaking mountains and snow. This game still looks amazing. Five years later. Stupid birds. I wish I could spend all my ammo shooting these birds. It'd be a waste, though. Let's try it, like, one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had to take one shot, guys. I had to do it. Alright, let's go. Holy shit. I was half expecting to get ambushed as soon as I landed. And also, this looks like it would go boom. I'm going to get away from it. I'm smarter than these guys. Sometimes. Fuel tanks. All right, so let's make a point to not blow those up. Unless we're actually supposed to right now already. Maybe we are. I feel like that's going to draw the fury of every person on this island, though. Let's look around first. There's got to be something to pick up in here. Two bullets. Fire Striker! There we go! What was I just saying, guys? This should do the trick. Yep, so now I can just hold down X and I can light my torch wherever I am. Which is quite handy. I kind of forgot how fast and furious the upgrades come in this game. But it's nice, it's a good feeling. 
All right, so now what are we doing? We're going to use this to light something or other. Oh, probably right there. Hold up, what's up here? Not a damn thing. Oh, I just got that rat soaked in fuel. Did you guys see that? Okay. Here goes nothing. Run! Run, Lara! I can't run! I can only walk! Cool girls don't look at explosions. but I'm still alive! Jesus freaking Christ! Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move! No time for rest! So a lot just happened right there. <laughs> Guys, when that plane hit me, I thought that I was actually dead, like, in the game. I was like, oh, I guess there was a way to avoid that. But then it turned out it was all scripted. That was a really cool sequence. Also, did you notice how there was a subtitle for some Japanese that we heard in there? Trapeze. Swing on the end of hanging cloth banners like a trapeze. So, like, that's the kind of thing where if we hadn't had subtitles on, I don't think I even would have noticed that there was some kind of ominous voice speaking there. It just kind of sounded like a weird sound effect. But because I could see the subtitles, it said that she was actually speaking in Japanese. You, you heard a voice say, no one leaves, which is pretty goddamn scary. So, that's cool. All right, we're not out of the woods yet. This place sucks. Don't stop. Auto save, so I know I'm safe. Go away. Go away. Get off of me. Oh no. Lara, you there? I'm coming for you. Mr. Pilot Man, I'll avenge you, I swear. <laughs> Assholes. Well, that guy's a goner, but let's see if he's still hanging on by a thread. Nope, he's good and dead. I can't even loot him. He should have some kind of supplies on him, shouldn't he? Alright. Well, so much for that plan, guys. I guess it's back to square one for us. Because goddamn... I'm surprised there's no campfire around here. Maybe there's one somewhere close. What's up here? Oh, hello there, gorgeous. What are you hiding from me? 40 salvage, that's it? Alright. 
Well, away from this place we go then. Cliffside Village. Oh, I think we're going to come back this way at some point. Yes. Later. That's for later. Campfire! Yay! I can't get it out of my head. A storm that came out of nowhere, out of a clear sky, and brought down a plane. It's not rational. You know it's not rational, Lara. There must be some explanation. I... I just don't know what it is yet. Mm. If you're looking for rational explanations about storms that come out of nowhere and have creepy Japanese women that speak ominously from the clouds, you're gonna have a bad time. Lara! What the hell happened? This storm, it came out of nowhere. These clouds, they just surrounded the plane. Lara, listen. I saw the crash from here, so you must be close to my position. Just get back here safe. All right. <sighs> On my way. All right, back to Roth then. Kind of sucks how it feels like the whole last hour of the game has been, like, kind of useless. I mean, we got some upgrades out of it, but our plans failed miserably. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Over here. Fire from the side. Yeah. Ah! Fuck you guys. Oh, you're still alive? Oh, oh, okay. Yo, I thought that dude on the left from the screen's perspective was totally dead. I thought I got a headshot on him. <laughs> Turns out, no. That was not what happened there. Fine. Let's do it again. I'll get another headshot on him. Now you're actually dead. Good. Hey, we got the rope! Right. Right. I remember now. We can take away their cover with that so that I can shoot them. How about you stop what you're doing up there, please? Thank you. Oh, my good... Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll chill for a second. We'll chill. I've got this super heavy-duty wooden crate giving me cover, so... No reason to be hasty. <laughs> and that one counted as a headshot. That didn't... That didn't actually feel like a headshot, but yeah, I'll take it. Okay. So right bumper when using the bow to shoot and pull objects wrapped in the rope. Yeah, that sets up some really cool stuff that we can do in combat. It's, you know, it's all like pre-set up ahead of time, but if there have been guys up there, you know, we can just yank this thing down. And at the very least, it should like kind of stun them for a second. Or if it, you know, yanks the whole thing down, they might actually die from it. So it's a cool item. And we can use it to pull that thing closer to us. Give us a little leg up. Take away their cover. Don't really ever need to do that after the fact, but sure. You know, guys, I've never attempted a bow-only playthrough of this game, but... I feel like that would be a lot of fun. And challenging in a good way, for the most part. I guess there's certain parts where you really can't get away with that, but... You know, when you say a bow-only playthrough, it just refers to, like... Anywhere where you can use a bow, you do use a bow. Obviously, you can't get out of the scripted sequences where you have to use pistols and whatnot. I don't think there's really a ton of those, though. That looks like a good spot to hook into. 
Yeah, so we can create rope bridges. Use rope arrows near anchor posts to do something. Make a little makeshift bridge. Just like that. I guess as long as the rope isn't slanted too much, you can climb up. Yeah, it just depends on the angle of it. Alright. Um, oh, there's something up there, isn't there? I should probably go get it. Oh. If I can actually get back, I don't know if I can. Now I'm down in the water. Ah, here we go. So yeah, sometimes there's more than one bridge you can take. Or make. But you can only do one at a time. Just this one box here. And I guess that was it for around here. Okay. Sure, giving me a ton of arrows that I don't need. We'll grab that. I think this opens up a lot of places for us, guys, in terms of backtracking.